Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm super excited that you're here today, you guys, because we are gonna talk about some cutting edge skincare. Now I'm gonna put a before and after picture up real quick on the screen right here, and I want you to look at this woman's improvement in a six week time frame. You can definitely see that she has some improvement in her tone and texture. I think you can see that there's improvement in the laxity of her skin. There's improvement in her fine lines, her wrinkles, and just kind of an overall skin rejuvenation. I would even say that you can see a little bit better jaw definition, and that is from six weeks of using the product that we're gonna talk about today. So that product that we're gonna talk about today is the entire line specifically a few products but we're going to talk about the whole line of Definage. now you guys have actually asked me to review this you've asked about it i've gotten lots and lots of questions about this particular product line and i was fortunate enough to pick this up at a discount i did pay for it with my own money but the doctor that i work with decided to bring this into her practice so just full transparency here i did buy this with my own money i did get it at a discount but i get no commission or kickback or anything like that from this video i want you to just stick with me on some of the science because it's super important i'm going to nutshell it down for you but basically when we are in utero before we are born there is a master stem cell that is called lgr6 positive we are going to refer to that as the master stem cell for the rest of this video. But that master stem cell is responsible for making us from scratch. It produces all of the skin that we, that we have when we are born, and then it wraps things up just after birth, and it goes into dormancy in our hair follicle. So that master stem cell then says, okay, my work is done. I've created this fresh baby full of fresh baby skin, and now I'm just gonna recede and sit in the hair follicle and wait and the only reason why that master stem cell comes out to work is if there is a wound so if there is a scratch a scrape a burn a cut then that master stem cell comes out of dormancy produces more basal stem cells and those in turn create new skin cells okay so only comes out of dormancy when there is an injury, when there's a wound. The other thing that is really, really important to know about this master stem cell, and it is really integral to all of this, is that it doesn't experience age like the rest of the stem cells in our body. This master stem cell is almost like it's in a time capsule in our hair follicle. It doesn't experience photo damage, it doesn't experience mutations, anything like that. So when it is asked to come out of dormancy to help heal a wound or a burn or a scrape or any anything like that, it produces those basal stem cells as if it were a baby, as if it were that fresh kind of skin that has incurred no damage over the course of your life. What is also super important to know is the process that happens in a wound. So nutshell, again, when we're wounded, something called a neutrophil is activated. This neutrophil produces something called a defensin. Defensins, and I like to think of this almost like, um, like a soap opera. Defensins are the character that is a messenger. There's been a cut. Neutrophils get activated. Neutrophils produce this little messenger called a defensin. And the defensin carries a little, a little note to that master stem cell that we were just talking about and says, hey, can you come help? We have a cut up here and we need you to help us fix it. Can you come out of dormancy in that, that hair follicle and go to work? And the master stem cell says, sure. Comes out of dormancy, goes to work, helps heal that wound and the skin is healed. And that is what happens all over our body when we are wounded. There's a whole wound healing process and collagen gets produced and all of that kind of stuff, right? I mean, that's why when you're injured, you're able to heal. Our body has this whole mechanism in place and ready so that it can heal itself. The company that created Defenage was able to take defensins. Now they're, they're synthesized. There is no human product in this product. There's no animal derived products in this product. So they took defensins and put them in their product. So they basically put that messenger that is only released when there is a wound into their cream and serum so that when you put it on topically, no wound, there's no wound, you don't have to put it over any kind of microneedling or germ abrasion or anything like that. You just put it on morning and night, 
that message is being sent down to that master stem cell asking it to come produce some fresh skin. It doesn't know that there hasn't been a wound. It just knows that it's been asked to come help and it's going to come help. That's it. So all of that sounds very pie in the sky to me. I mean, I don't know about you, but we hear a lot of claims all the time in skincare. And I would say that 90% of the time they're elevated claims. They, they are exaggerated. So what is ex especially exciting about this particular product line is the studies that they did on the products. Now, first of all, they started with a pilot study. It was 22 people. And basically they got good enough results that they decided to do a formal study. Now in this formal study, we are talking double blind placebo, very well controlled study, 45 participants. They were all female where the, in the pilot study, there were men too. This absolutely would work for men. Of course, in this formal study though, so there were 45 ladies aged 41 to 71, which is also great in my estimation because those are the people that are the most concerned with aging. It's those people between 40 and 90, right? I mean, th that's the group right there. Okay, they were split into three groups. So there were three centers, three sites with three different doctors managing 14 to 16 ladies at each site. Now they did, of course, baseline testing. They did testing at six weeks and they did testing at 12 weeks. I think what's super important about this testing is that it was incredibly objective. It was not just before and after pictures and naked eye kind of assessment of results. They did 3D imaging, they did biopsies, they did ultrasound imaging, they did the typical where the investigators, at the three different investigators, the three different doctors, actually obviously also did formal assessments with their, you know, in their experience and that kind of thing. But beyond that, they used devices to get objective results that were measurable, that weren't just somebody saying, oh yeah, she looks better, I see less wrinkles. You could measure that there were less wrinkles. You could measure that there was an increase in skin hydration, and there was statistically significant increase in hydration, statistically significant decrease in oiliness, statistically significant improvement in the pores, which wasn't expected. There were so many fresh new skin cells that they kind of crowded the pores. So the pores appear much more refined. I'll put there, I'm gonna put a bunch more before and afters up as I'm talking you guys, but the appearance of the pores was significantly changed in, in the positive way. Okay, also there was an improvement in transepidermal water loss. So less water was being lost from our tissue. There was also obviously an improvement in fine lines, an improvement in wrinkles. There was an improvement in laxity and there was also an improvement in pigment. So across the board, it was an, a statistically significant improvement and it was measured objectively. This study found that not only did dermal thickness increase and epidermal thickness, which is akin to when we are younger, but it found that it wasn't due to inflammation. So if you've been here for a while, you know that inflammation is pro-aging and we don't want to experience results that look good, but in fact are inflammation, which means that down the line, we're gonna experience more aging. This line is not inflammatory, and that was a huge plus for me. The other thing that I definitely think is worth taking into consideration and possibly researching yourself is that growth factors, while they are incredibly powerful skincare ingredients, everybody can't use them. If you have had cancer, in my opinion, you shouldn't use growth factors. This is not a growth factor, it is a signaling peptide, and it has a specific goal to ask that master stem cell to go to work to you know, help produce fresh skin. So it isn't doing what growth factors are doing, in effect, turning everything on and possibly also turning on cancer cells. So this product, because it's not a growth factor that just basically stimulates everything, is potentially much safer for people who have experienced any kind of cancer. I want you to look into that yourself, but that's definitely my assessment of this product. Now, the other thing that I wanna point out is that two thirds of the people in this formal study were 
uh, full formula. So they had the products and they had the defensins, those messenger proteins that were able to ask that master stem cell to go to work. They had everything in the product. The people in the SIBO group, so the group that doesn't have the active ingredient, they had the exact same bottle, they had the exact same formula as the other group, only minus those defensins, minus that signaling peptide. Everything else in here is the same. Same smell, same feeling, same consistency, same other ingredients. So they truly were able to measure the effectiveness of defensins in their product. So I think that that's pretty cool because you, you know, you get placebo groups and if you have them just use a moisturizer and the other group is using the full formula, it's not really, it's apples to oranges. Whereas the placebo group truly was using this product just without those active ingredients, the defensins in there. But I want to go through the line and how I'm using it. Um, if you're interested. So first of all, there is a wash. I really like it. I am using this morning and night. It's kind of a gel consistency. They say to go ahead and put it on dry skin and then you add water. I add actually have found that I really just like to use it traditionally. I put it in the palm of my hand, I add some water and I put it on that way. Um, but it's a beautiful product and I do find that it removes my makeup and I'm not double cleansing. I'm just using this. I'm just testing it out and using it that way and I really do like it. So I am doing that. Now at night, I am alternating and on one night I'm going in with my copper peptides and you can see that clearly I have loved this product. This is the VIP serum from Dr. Picard's site. I've already ordered and received a new um, bottle of this. In fact, I like it so much, you guys, that I purchased the bigger size of this. So I'll show you what this looks like. It looks like that. I actually do two pumps of this. I probably use too much, but I do two pumps of this and I put it all over my face and down my neck. And I don't really wait any time. I mean, I might wait 10 seconds or something. It soaks right into my skin. And then I go on with the definage. Now, the way that you use the definage is a little bit different than we're normally used to. But I put on the 24-7 Barrier Cream next, which is how they um, advise that you do it. This is actually a cream. And it is definitely hydrating, it's definitely comforting, it's lightweight, and it kind of soaks in right away, but it feels very, very nice on the skin. Now, this is obviously backwards than we're taught and that we're used to because you do the serum next. And they do have a really good reason for that. So you wait 30 seconds and then you do a couple pumps, I'm just gonna do one here, of the serum. But you can see it's kind of almost like a jelly serum. It's not super thin or anything. You put that on over the barrier, protecting lotion. Now, the reason why you do that is in this barrier balance cream, there's all kinds of antioxidants and all kinds of good stuff in there. You put this on first, it has less defensins in this product. It has less, a uh, lower concentration of those uh, messaging peptides in there. And that way your skin is able to get the goods of the antioxidants and all the other things that are in this product. If you were to put the serum on first, it is my understanding that it's so concentrated with those defensins that it tightens up these junctions in your skin and the good stuff in here wouldn't be as accessible to your skin. So they like you to do this first and then you put the serum on over it. Now there is an eye cream I've been using this eye cream. You put it on your lid, you put it under. I find it to be really nice and you don't need a lot. I put about a half a pump of this eye cream on. It does have one of those applicators where, you know, it can get cold and stuff. Honestly, I haven't used it that way. I've literally just gone like this and then I, you know, put it between my ring finger and I apply it all around my eye. Now, the one other product that they do have that is really, really a great product is there, it's called Two Minute Reveal Mask. Now this is a sugar enzyme mask. It has super, super fine grain sugar in it. And the way that you use this is you actually put this on dry skin a couple times a week. You massage it in on dry skin for about 20 seconds and then you get your fingers wet and the, the sugar just dissolves. So you get this manual, very fine exfoliation. Then there are enzymes in here. So there's papaya, pumpkin, and pomegranate enzymes in this mask and you can leave it on for a couple minutes, you rinse. And honestly, I've had to exercise, um, I've had to restrain myself from wanting to use this every single day. It's such a beautiful little mask and it leaves your skin feeling really, really soft and smooth. 
and so you can see what it looks like. So I can feel right now this very, very fine grit. It is not um, super duper scratchy or anything, but it definitely does do a little bit of manual exfoliation. And so if you're somebody that likes that, but as soon as you get your fingers wet, you literally just, that sugar dissolves and it turns into this mask. It rinses easily. And I really, really am enjoying that very, very much. None of these products have fragrance. Some of the products before did have fragrance. So if you decide you want to get this, just make sure you look and you choose the one without fragrance because I will tell you in the products that do contain fragrance, the fragrance is very, very strong and off-putting. I didn't care for it. And um, the, the lack of fragrance in these, the scent's just fine. So that is what I am doing at night. On alternating nights, I am still using my retinaldehyde from osmosis. I just really like the retinaldehyde from osmosis. I still want to get my vitamin A in my regimen. Now my morning time is actually very, very similar. I'm kind of doing exactly the same thing and on alternating days, I'm using copper peptides. And then on other days, I'm fitting in vitamin C in that very first step, like I did with the copper peptide. I just kind of rotate through as needed and kind of assess my skin. If I feel like I need a little bit more of a glow, I need a boost, I will use some vitamin C. And then I just go on with the Definage. Now, of course, during the day, I am using a moisturizer. I am still using my IS Clinical, the reparative moisture emulsion. I'm still in love with that. I think it's fantastic. And I just have to be careful not to use that on the days that I use vitamin C because it has copper peptides. So, you know, there's always this skincare puzzle that you're trying to make sure you're not ever using something that, you know, you can't use otherwise. And then of course I'm finishing with not only my Victoria Beckham, the cell rejuvenating moisturizer, which I'm really enjoying, but also my SPF of course, which is still the dermatology. So that's what I'm doing there during the day. I hope you enjoyed this skincare breakdown and I hope you share my excitement. Check the description box. Really, there's not gonna be any affiliate links for this product line. I am not linking it to make a commission or anything like that. You are welcome to contact the office where I work and ask for more information. They do sell it and they do ship if you're interested. And again, absolutely no affiliation personally or kickback on my end, but you can get more information and know that you're getting a legitimate product, etc. cetera. Um, I will put that information in the description box for sure. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.